Hello teachers, my name is Carla Calderon. In this video, I'll show you how to download the level reader from Reading A to C and upload it into CISO for your students. Hopefully your school already has an account with Reading A to C. In case that you don't, I suggest that you bring this up to your administration. As you can see, Reading A to C has different languages available as well. Right now I am in the Spanish one, but don't worry, they all work the same way. I'm going to pick this book here and I want you guys to see something. Normally, whenever we're at school, we don't have a problem with this because we can just print it and there's no problem. But in this case, because we're trying to take it into Seesaw, because this one is horizontal, then whenever we download the PDF and we try to put it into Seesaw, we're going to get some of the pages upside down. There's a way to get that fixed, but I'm not going to do that in this video. The type of books that you're looking for are the ones that are standing vertical, like this one. You're going to click on single sided book. This is going to open a new window in which is going to ask you to download it and save it onto your computer. What I highly suggest is for you guys to keep things organized and create a new folder in your desktop and call it reading A to C. Inside that folder, you're going to create another folder in which it says the level reader, which in my case, this is an AA book. And inside of that folder, I'm going to put this book, which the title is Animales de la Finca. And this is the book that we just downloaded. Now let's take it into Seesaw. Make sure that you guys create a collection of reading A to C so that way you guys keep everything organized. Let's click on create activity. I'm going to type the level and the title of the book. Click on add template for student responses in which we're going to get the PDF file and upload it here. Something that one of my co-workers suggested is for us to delete page two since it's basically just repeating the title. So I'm going to delete that by clicking on the three dots and click delete. And now here, this is the template for the students. They actually have the book in their seesaw. Now you can end it here and then just send it to the student and ask them to record themselves reading, or you can do a mini lesson, which is what I'm going to show you guys how to do it here. I will add the book again, but now as the instructions, I will do the same thing I did with the student copy. I'm going to delete the second page and as you guys see we have five pages i will record my voice reading the title first then doing a picture walk and before i begin reading i tell the students that they will be seeing the high frequency word el el título de este libro es animales de la finca mira los animales de aquí then i'm going to undo this ¿Puedes decirme qué animales ves aquí? ¿Qué animal es este? Pato. ¿Qué animal es este? Vaca. Pollo. Now let me show you the difference between me circling it ahead of time before I click on this. Y este? Oveja. And I'm going to do the same thing with the pig. I'm circling before and then I'm going to record. Este? Cerdo. Perro. Chivo. Muy bien. ¿Qué animal ves aquí? Pollo. Muy bien. Ahora voy a ir a la siguiente página y quiero que me digas qué animales ves. Perro, cerdo. I have to undo this because if I don't, then whenever we come back to read the book, then it's going to show and it's going to look ugly. Let's continue. So this is what the kids are going to hear now that I click on the mic. Pollo. Chivo. Undo, undo. Ah, 
vaca, pato, oveja, animales. Muy bien, ahora vamos a leer. En este libro vas a encontrar muchas veces la palabra él. Así se mira la palabra él. E, L. Vamos a ver dónde lo vemos. Ah, ¿Si ¿sí lo ves? Muy bien. El. ¿Qué animal era este? Perro. Muy bien. El perro. Oh, mira. El. Cerdo, muy bien. El pollo. El chivo. Eh, oh, oh. Este está diferente. Aquí dice la. La vaca. Ah, ¿Recuerdas? El pato. Ah, la oveja. Los animales. Muy bien, ahora tú lees solito. This is going to save your video and it's going to add you an extra page at the beginning. What I like to do is I like to delete these and just skip the video. What you're about to watch next is what the kids will actually see. El título de este libro es Animales de la Finca. Mira los animales de aquí. ¿Puedes decirme qué animales ves aquí? ¿Qué animal es este? Pato. ¿Qué animal es este? Vaca. Pollo. ¿Y este? Oveja. ¿Este? Cerdo. Perro. Chivo. Muy bien. ¿Qué animal ves aquí? Pollo. Muy bien. Ahora voy a ir a la siguiente página y quiero que me digas qué animales ves. Perro, cerdo, pollo, chivo. Animales. Muy bien, ahora vamos a leer. En este libro vas a encontrar muchas veces la palabra él. Así se mira la palabra él. 
E L. Vamos a ver dónde lo vemos. Ah, ¿Si ¿sí lo ves? Muy bien. El. ¿Qué animal era este? Perro. Muy bien. El perro. Oh, mira. El. Cerdo, muy bien. El pollo. El chivo. Eh, oh, oh. Este está diferente. Aquí dice la. La vaca. Ah, ¿Recuerdas? El pato. Ah, la oveja. Los animales. Muy bien. Ahora tú lees solito. So as you guys saw, all that me going back and then drawing and then pausing and all that stuff, the kids don't get to see that. <laughs> so once you're happy with your recording, just click on the check mark. Don't forget to add your instructions. And by the way, if you have a PDF file, any book that is on a PDF file, you can still do the same thing. So you don't necessarily need reading A to C, but I highly recommend it because it's a great resource. I apologize for this longer video, but I just wanted to show you guys the behind the scenes and the final product. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so you get notifications as soon as I upload a new video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.